Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me ranking all of my Too Faced palettes. You guys have requested me to do more ranking videos, so I'm gonna do them. I have a whole playlist linked down below for you. I have ranked my BH Cosmetics palettes, ABH palettes, Tarte palettes, and like my highlighters of my whole palette collection from last summer, and we're gonna do that today. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'm looking to do bonus videos. So if you want me to do bonus videos, give this video a thumbs up, leave me requests down below. That is so important because I just, I want to know what you guys want to see. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Also, just give me a thumbs up. It means so much to me and it helps my channel out a ton. I have a lot of Too Faced palettes. I love Too Faced. I kind of always have. We're gonna start out from worst, well, in my opinion, worst to best. I love all of my palettes. I just let you know, if I don't love a palette, I'm gonna, I'll get rid of it. I have no problem doing that. I did a declutter um, last month, and as you can tell, I have no problem getting rid of stuff, so just leaving it out there. Yeah, my lowest ranked palette is the Too Faced and Natural Lust. I gotta stop remember, I have to remember to stop saying Too Faced this, because we all know it's Too Faced, because the title of the video too faced so this palette is really good in my opinion very neutral I really like it um, I really like the pinks in here I think that was very good I just don't reach for this palette a ton but it was like one of my first big makeup purchases so I, I just I don't know I really like it so I'm just keeping it I do think that this is a very nice formula though okay this is from the holiday collection from 2018 and this is called best year ever but it looks like it has a highlighter blush and bronzer in it I just don't reach for this as much just because it is a limited edition palette and because you guys can't really get it I do still use stuff that isn't really available anymore just because you know people who do have it want to see looks with it yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to reach for this again because I really like it. The next one is the Too Faced, excuse me, the Life's a Festival Peace, Love, and Unicorns palette. This is like literally the definition of Too Faced right here. That and like inappropriate stuff. So this is what it looks like. It's literally shaped like a rainbow. You get like the pinks all the way to the blues and purples over here. This is also a highlighter. It's Unicorn Tears. That is like one of their famous ones. This I really do like. They it just the reason why I ranked it lower was because of the lack of matte shades. So everything in this palette is pretty much shimmery except for Young and Free, which is this pink one, and Desert Vibes, which is this one. So it kind of gives you it doesn't really allow you to do a full look with it, in my opinion. But I still really like this. This is another um, holiday one. It's the best year ever smaller edition. It looks like this. I love this palette. This is very nice. But I just, I just don't reach for it much. I do need to though. This one. Oh my goodness. I like this one. This is the I Want Candy palette. Do you guys remember when this came out? Gosh, look at that. It's set up in like quads with like a highlight shade, quad highlight shade. And it's supposed to be like a chocolate box of chocolates. I really like this one. So it smells a little bit like candy and whatnot, so yeah. And it's like a tin. Ooh, this next one is the Chocolate Bonbon bon Palette from Too Faced. So I um, I'm, I do a series called Palettes We All Forgot About, and I have ideas in the future to do more videos on more Too Faced palettes, but I just, I think this one might be coming in the future. But this is what it looks like. It has heart-shaped pans, so Too Faced style, right? And it has like the two larger pans, very Too Faced style. Um, some of these chocolate bar palettes do are kind of hit and miss. I mean, like, I'll, I'll maybe do a video on it, but like the pink one looks crazy, but it's not always the most pigmented. Some of the more neutral shades are really where it's at with these chocolate bar palettes. This next one I have done a video on like a palette so I forgot about video and I'll link that down below for you but it's the original chocolate bar I originally thought this that was gonna be kind of like a flop video because I was unsure about the quality and how it was gonna hold up and everything and I actually really like this that really stood out to me and I was like oh my gosh like why have I not used this like I need to use this more and so it's kind of sitting up where my my other palettes and I like this next one this I like this one as well. It's the semi-sweet chocolate bar. This is from this is my favorite chocolate bar palette out of all of them. 
they're all really good in my opinion but I mean there is what a couple shades in here where I'm like uh no so the first one is pink sugar this is literally like nothing and then the blueberry one blueberry swirl yeah those just don't work for me but I love the peanut butter shade too that's really cute. <laughs> Next one, I got this in a boxy charm, and I had originally anti hauled it. Like I was not gonna buy it, and then I, this it showed up in a boxy charm, and it's the Palm Spring Dreams palette. Looks like a little hotel. Super cute. You open it up, and I was just like, oh, I don't know, it's not for me. But when I tried it on in that video, I actually enjoyed it. It kind of smells like gingerbread. Like it has like the peaches on the outside closure, if you can tell. But it smells like the gingerbread stuff little odd but I thought overall that this was a pretty pigmented palette um, nice little format I like the pop blue the hot pink in there um, I like the gold too but yeah I actually was pleasantly surprised because this was originally a palette that I was not going to buy this palette I found at TJ Maxx and I had originally like really wanted to get this and I couldn't and when I found it at TJ Maxx I was super happy and this is the white peach palette and inside I actually dropped this palette <laughs> And this um, shade in the corner kind of broke a bit, but I don't want to tip it too much, but this is what it looks like. I thought it was such a beautiful, nice look, but you also have enough, like, this, like, deeper shade here that kind of brightens it up a bit. This actually smells like peaches. <laughs> the other one, that's not peach in my opinion. This is the Clover palette from Too Faced. Do you guys remember this when it came out? I did a video on this one as well. And I'll link that down below for you. But this I really found was an overall like well-rounded palette. You get the neutrals, you get pinks, you get a green, you get a blue. But I almost find it a little challenging at times as well. And I go in more in depth in that video. I overall really like this palette. It just is like you pretty much it's pretty much a neutral palette with pops of color. This has my heart. Okay. This means oh this I love this palette. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This was like one of the first palettes I purchased from them. You guys all know what it looks like. I did a video, palette so I forgot about video on this. And I love it. I really truly do. I think that this is a fantastic, wonderful Too Faced palette. If you are looking for a Too Faced palette, I'd get Sweet Peach in a heartbeat. I, I just don't have enough good things to say about it. I really do like it. This one, I'm not sure why I ranked this so high. This is the from the Let It Snow Girl collection. This was from this year's holiday collection. And it swivels up and it looks like this. Some of the shadows are very nice and they swatch so well. But some of them, there you go, that was a really nice blending shade. But some of them just don't. And hi, Rascal. Yeah, I have not reached for this too much, but I need to because I like this. This really stood out to me, like, so much. And this is from the Cookie Cutter Snow Party or whatever. I don't know, but this is from so the Sephora holiday set, and I really like this. Okay, you open it up, you get 20 eyeshadows in here. It also came with this little palette. I didn't, I would just say these go as a set. So take that off, it magnetizes on there. It's a set of six shadows, and it has like two glitter, four glitters in there. Really, um, I don't mind the glitters. I want to use them a little more, but I also... I have these set of three. I don't I didn't really know how to rank these, but these are from the Gingerbread Lane collection. I have a review video on that, and I'll link it down below. I also have a review video on this, but hmm, they're like set of three little palettes. It comes with four eyeshadows and a blush, and so these are so nice. All have a different scent. Love. Okay. Um, I just didn't really know how to like rank these if I ranked them each palette, but I'm going to rank them as a set. Ooh, this palette is um, a pretty good favorite of mine. I did a video on this one as well. There's going to be so many links in the description box, but go on a binge, binge and just watch all of them. But this is the Just Peachy Mattes. This is a Sephora exclusive. It smells like peaches, but this is what this looks like. It's completely matte, 12 shades. Such a great everyday palette. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really like it, so... They also all blend really nicely. And I know Too Faced is known for kind of having inconsistencies with their formulas, but this one, I just noticed that it just blended so well. Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I did a video on this as well. <laughs> this is this is actually my favorite of the chocolate bar palettes. But, oh, I love this. 
And I like how this comes in like a more plasticky one, like container, rather than the other ones, which are tin. I don't know, I just feel like this one feels more steady. But this only has like four mats in here. They're all the neutral mats, and then you have like crazy shimmers. Why not? These are so beautiful. Go check out that video to see swatches and everything though. I love these. Logan actually bought me these, <laughs> and they're the Tutti Fruity palettes. Um, this one is the next up ranking, but this is the Sparkling Pineapple one. Looks like this. It's a little more neutral. It's got like the gold, the green, duochrome, dark brown. These are really nice shadows. The shimmers in here feel like ColourPop Super Shock shadows, and this smells like pineapple. This, the Razzle Dazzle Berry, um, I did a video on this. I'll link it down below, but this is the more pinky purple and cutesy. I like this one a little more just because of my color preference. I like these shades better, but I love both of these. I really do. Well, that's why I chose this one to be one step ahead of this one. This palette, I absolutely love. I don't know if you can really get it anymore. It's probably on the Too Faced website, but this is the Too, um, Natural Lust palette. I just love this palette. It's so sleek and thin. It's like the Natural Love, but this is Natural Lust. So it's, but inside, it just, it's a little bit deeper. There's a little bit different colors. There's a blue, like, purpley tones. I just think it's a different kind of vibe of palette. Um, I really like this. And they say it's natural, a naturally sexy eyeshadow palette. So I have worn this for more formal occasions for every day, and I just kind of, like, switched up. And that's what I like about it. So it's so pretty. I wish I would have gotten the bronzer that had the peacock in it. If you know where to find that, let me know because I've always wanted to try it and I never have. My top palette. This may come as no surprise to you because I was on a nonstop talk about it for the longest time. And it's the Too Faced, obviously Too Faced, <laughs> the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. Now this is a palette I was originally not going to buy. And I saw it in store and I was like, oh my god, I love this palette. This is beautiful. And I ended up picking it up and I was like, okay, well, I hope I didn't just waste my money. It was on sale and I did not pay full price for it. But oh my god, I love this. This is so gorgeous. I love it. The shimmers are great. The mattes blend amazingly. I love it. And it's one of their classic, like, in the tin containers. Um, I don't have the original gingerbread palette. That just did not stand out to me. So I'm, I just wasn't feeling it. Overall, those are all my Too Faced palettes. I hope you enjoyed. I really like doing ranking videos. Um, again, if you have no, if you want to see a video on any one of these, please let me know. I'm so happy to do them for you. Just leave a comment down below and just say, hey, I want you to do a look on the Natural Lust palette. And I'll do it for you. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, check the description box too. If you want to know how I did this makeup, then check out Monday's video. That'll be up in a couple days, but I review something that is so cool and just has been catching my eye on the Ulta website for a while, so check that out. And that is it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!